Hi everybody, Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak. Today we're going to look at the elbow against somebody who has an abduction lesion. So they call it an abduction fixation. So the carrying angle is more than the typical. So typically with the elbow and extension, your normal carrying angle should be anywhere 11 to 14 degrees. If you're in elbow flexion, it should be actually 6 degrees, a little bit of varus. So these patients are the patients who come in, they might have tennis elbow from the strain and be in an abducted position. Uh, they might have fallen on their arm. They might be a manual therapist who's always leaning in a certain position. So how do we test? So we look at the range of motion. We want to do some joint play. We know the joint, the humeral ulnar joint, goes to more of an angle. We want to be able to go from the medial inferior to superior angle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in. I'm going to take that joint. It's going to be about 70 degrees in a loose pack and about 10 degrees of supination. This hand's going to go on the humerus. This one's going to go on the ulna. We're going to do is we're going to take up the slack. We can do a glide with this hand towards the lateral side. So we come into here, we take up the slack, and we're going to push straight across. We're going to take up that slack. When we get to the end range, we're going to see if there's a little bit of a spring. If it was in an abducted position, stuck in that position, you wouldn't feel no, you wouldn't feel any spring at all. It would be a stiff joint. So mobilization-wise, the technique is the same. So if really trying to get in a loose pack position, you get him in this position, you come in through here. You have them almost 70 degrees or so. Pressure, take up the slack, do a spring. If you wanted to manipulate, you would do more in a almost extended position, just short of extension, come out of it, and you would get a harder end feel. And again, you would go to the end feel, and then when you get to the end range, you would do a quick thrust. As long as you're trained appropriately, or you have a therapist who can teach you how to do that. So it's a nice way to be able to treat an abducted lesion. This is Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak.